What's up, Packers fans? Aaron Nagler here, Cheesehead TV. Wanted to say a few words about Brian Gutekunst and his role in improving the defense. Yes, we will wait word on Matt LaFleur's decision when it comes to the defensive coordinator position, but make no mistake, Brian Gutekunst has to have the type of rebuild he had on offense in 2023 when it comes to the 2024 squad. You can point to Joe Barry's ineffectiveness in situational ball, but you can also find plenty of examples throughout the tape of 2023's defense with guys in position to make a play, but not doing so. Missed tackles, bad angles, things of that nature. If Brian's being honest with himself, he knows he has to move on from guys like Devondre Campbell, Keyshawn Nixon, and basically the entire safety position. That's not to discount what those guys gave to the Packers in their time in Green Bay. But if the goal is to win a championship, which it obviously is, they cannot wait around for Devondre Campbell to suddenly rediscover the form that made him an all-pro his first year in Green Bay. No doubt they will make him a June 1st cap casualty. They have to find a younger, better option to pair alongside Quay Walker to take this defense to the next level. Again, that's no shade on Devondre Campbell, but it's very clear after the last two seasons, injuries and age have caught up with him even when he's, quote, healthy enough to play. He is slow to the ball, nowhere near the sideline-to-sideline presence he was a couple of years ago. When it comes to the slot corner position, there is no way you can enter 2024 with Keyshawn Nixon in the slot again. In a league where you're playing 75% of your snaps out of the nickel, you cannot have a liability in coverage like Nixon playing your slot role. It is a basic starter in 2024. Nixon's done great work as a returner, two-time All-Pro, you love to see that, but that doesn't earn him a spot on the defense, or it shouldn't. If Brian's going to be ruthless about improving the defense, he has to move on from Nixon as his primary slot defender. Then you get to the safety position. What a mess. It doesn't matter if it's Darnell Savage, Anthony Johnson Jr., Rudy Ford, or Jonathan Owens. None of them were good enough. Now, Anthony Johnson Jr., I do not doubt for a moment, will be kept and will stick around and hopefully continue to grow. Remember, he was making a pretty major transition from what he was asked to do in college as opposed to what he was being asked to do in the pros. There's zero doubt in my mind that he will continue to be a depth piece at the safety spot. However, the rest of them, it is time to move on. I get Savage is a former first round pick, somebody that knows what is being asked of you in the Green Bay Packers program. But you don't have to turn on much tape to find missed tackles, bad angles, and overall up and down play. It's not even that it's consistently poor play, because it's not. I think he really came on towards the end of 2023, but it's still not good enough. You have to have a consistent presence back there, something that Savage just doesn't provide. When it comes to Jonathan Owens, you really hoped after becoming a full-time starter his last year in Houston, he would take a significant jump in Green Bay. That certainly didn't happen. If anything, he regressed more missed tackles and bad angles. They have to be better at safety. It's time for a complete renovation when it comes to the back end, the Packers defense. Now, obviously, a lot of this will have to happen in concert with whoever Matt LaFleur decides to bring in as defensive coordinator, what kind of scheme they run, what they're going to ask these guys to do. But the fact of the matter is, as much as we as Packers fans got so frustrated with Joe Barry and his approach, There are certainly things that Brian Gutekunst needs to own up to and improve on if this defense is going to help the Green Bay Packers win a title under his stewardship. It starts this offseason. They have to be better in a number of spots, and Brian has to be absolutely ruthless about moving on and making sure that that happens. What do you guys think? What does Brian have to do to take this defense to a championship level? Let me know in the comments below. And then tell your friends and tell your family, Cheesehead TV. We are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide.